Yeah, this one is Abu Mesugeti uh -huh. on, a, on a mission. Exactly. On a mission. And then wait, very soon you will discover the mission. Exactly. Alright, so mostly, um, mostly this is um, very popular in Cape Coast. And then um, we in Cape Coast, we call it Pragya. Because most people started um, learning about this this type of tricycle from a popular um, TV series called called Pragya. They saw it in that in that movie, and in that movie they call it Tuk Tuk. But over here, we we are giving the name of that TV series to this tricycle. So we call it Pragya, and as you can see, it is very comfortable. Most people um, really uses it. Um, when you sit in, you get a lot of fresh air and you're able to go to connect that most of the cars wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go. Um, traffic, traffic issue is not bothered by the people using the Pragya. As you can see, there are a lot of, a lot of people that patronize the Pragya services. It is one of the tourist ways of knowing Cape Coast and its environs. And then today, it is me and John the Village Boy. We are on a mission. Walk with us to see the mission. This is a village boy himself, and here is Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. Actually, the one recording the video is Enrico. Go, 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 go. Enrico. <laughs> Enrico. Enrico. <laughs> uh, he's doing so so well for, for me. Alright, right, so he's doing so wonderful for me, myself, and I've come to the community as well because ever since he discovered my video, he has been you know pushing this agenda back to back and still we are working on it. Right now we are going to some place. I wouldn't tell you when we get there, you see it. So stick and stay, subscribe to Village Boy YouTube channel and be part of our family. We seek to save our villages. That is the basic thing we are doing. Thank you. But uh, because you have kept the peace, um, you keep on increasing. Your, your followers and people who really subscribe to your, your channel. Yeah. But all that I would say is that continue bringing them new things, bring variety of things to serve different taste of different taste of people. And so everybody, I recommend you to really share, subscribe, and press the notification button to the village board. And you're never gonna regret it. He has a lot to share with you. This is Ghana, and it's how we do it. Yeah, Enrico. I mentioned that name. Enrico. <laughs> Enrico. <laughs> yeah, so we meet. Um, okay, so welcome to welcome to Fashion on Wheel shop. So it is it is it is Fashion on Wheel, and then uh, Brafier in Soma um, office. And so this is um, a place where the action is going on. And as you can see. Um, the, the, the fashion designers are seriously working on what um, the village boy is going to introduce to you. I don't want to be the one to introduce you to this, but at least we have been to the factory where the food is being, is being cooked. Very soon, we're going to serve you. Thank you. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Madame, madame. Alright, so hi, my name is Village Boy and thank you so much 
as you can see, we are uh, having what do you call it? The uniform for the boys. This is for Ahmed Suiji. This is for Ahmed Suiji. Um, it's because of the activity that we are creating for Ahmed Suiji community. That's how come we got this. So Brafi and Sumo and Riku is here. And I will say that God bless him so much for giving us this. We really appreciate it. So what we intended to do is to provide portable water for the community. That one too is in a pipeline. But as this one has come to our doorstep, we appreciate it. Alright, so I would like to use this opportunity as well to thank Patrick Nelson for his collaboration. He has donated this money for this and God bless him so much. He's from Denmark. Alright, Denmark Kopiega. He's not from Africa, he's not from Ghana. But he decided that indeed these people they really deserve this and they need the support. Why don't I support if I have? So if you are in Ghana, it means that you have a lot of responsibility to play here. Okay, so let's like I said, we are saving our villages. Our villages is the foundations of the city. So let's come together and save our villages for the better. I am your village boy. If you have not subscribed to Village Boy YouTube channel, go ahead right now, smash the subscription button and turn on the post notification bell so that any video at all that I upload. You'll be the very first person to get notified. Thank you so much for your support. So I am here to introduce you to what we do here. This is a Fashion on Who shop. Fashion on Who is a local sewing business where we sew for men, women, children, adults, almost, almost everything. So with the casual wear, office wear, wedding gown, whatsoever. And the madam here has about, about 10, 10 ladies that she has been teaching. Some of them are running a program we call Ndobwa. Ndobwa simply means love and health. What we do is that for the Ndobwa, it's a women empowerment, sustainable development program. Where what we do is that we pick up women who are single mothers and they don't have husband, no career, and we, and we train them for free. And so the machine they would use, the habadashli or all the, all the fascinators, the, the the fabric, everything that they would use to sew, all of them are free. And um, this is what we do. We provide lunch for them. Those who have kids are also getting um, scholarships. So their children go to school for free. We only pay for the, for the bus. We do all these things with support from our donors. And so this is what Fashion on Wheel has partnered with Brafier Instrumer. Now we are here because of Brafier Instrumer project that they are doing in collaboration with Village Boy through his village, Akumesu Yeti. About um, last year, around December, I went to, the, to Akumesu Yeti with a friend in Denmark. His name is um, Patrick Nelson. And we visited the village to see all that the village um, is and some of the things that they need and see if we can be of help. And initially, we proposed to, to do borehole for them because the main water they drink comes from a stream and these are basic necessity of life and so we were we were moved and wanted to do that but unfortunately our budgets couldn't reach the borehole and the money that patrick was able to raise we were we now decided that we would use it to push education and so helping educational need with the money that patrick brought I had a meeting with Village Boy in consultation with the head of the school. Then we decided that we need to provide them with school uniform. And so we are here today to inspect how the school uniform sewing is going. And so we have a list of boys and girls who are going to receive school uniform for free. And so Fashion on Wheel is really partnering with us to fulfill this mission of providing school uniform for the children of Akumisi Yeti. Our main aim is to, is to improve one of the UN sustainable goal number four, which is improve education, providing um, other useful uh, materials or other useful support for the children in Akume CET to be able to go to school, learn and become somebody great in the future like a president of Ghana. So work with me to, to see fashion on wheel and what they are doing. All right, so you meet um, you meet Madam Madam Charity. So Madam Charity is the is the director of Fashion on Wheel. So she has really accepted to really help us in this 
in this regard as you can see this is um madam madam prisla madam prisla how are you doing all right so this is prisla as you can see she is really busy sewing the school uniform this is madam madam augustina hello madam Augustina. hello hello madam Augustina. How, how, how are you doing fine thank you <laughs> Okay, hello, I'm Charity, the Director of Fashion on Queen's Garden. What we mostly do here is ladies wear, gents, we do customized bridal wear. We are here to meet your need wherever you may. Um, Brefier and Shuma approached us that they want to make school uniforms for Akume Yeti. Akume Suyeti. Akume Suyeti, students. So we are making about 90 school uniforms for both male and female. So far we have started, we are done with the male shirt and it is being lined. Because when you line a dress or a garment, it makes it last longer. That is our reason for lining it so that they can wear it for a longer time before it, wear, it wears out. Hopefully by the end of this month we will be true with the sewing and the, the children will be happy to receive their new uniforms. All right, so thank you so much, Madam Charity, for, um, thank you so much, Madam Charity, walking us through the processes and then how things are being done. And then I'm here to say, Ahamu. Angamu. Ahamu. Angamu. Angamu. Ahamu. Angamu. This is Madam Linda. Why am I in the Brafi <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Ahamu, Ajidere, Angelo, Ahamu, Angelo, Ahamu, Ahamu. I would, I would like to use this opportunity to thank Madam Charity for this innovative way of. I mean, sewing this school uniform for Akuma and Suiti. She really, really look at the future, uh, you know, of the, for the people of Akuma and Suiti or the students. If not, she'd have, she would have not lined it up. And very soon, as she said, by the end of this month, they are going to finish up with sewing of the dresses and the school children are going to receive it. One thing that they've, they, they said in this video is that they don't want a situation whereby we send a school uniform to the kids and they are not wearing it or they don't go to school they would be so so angry with it so i pray that as we send it to the the people or the students they will be able to make good use of it learn hard to become better person in our society and i think this is what we've been fighting for we are on a journey to save our villages basically so if you are somewhere at somewhere in ghana you know outside ghana we urge you to come here and support this course come and support village boy come and support Bafin suma right come and support us today and let's make our world a better place my name is village boy once again i will see you bye